Welcome. In a previous video, I did an initial setup of an Ingenious SkyKey controller with an, two Ingenious access points. And those products were provided to me by Ingenious, but they're not paying me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find these videos helpful and want to buy any of these products, I'll put a link in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So in this video, I'm going to talk about doing a backup and restore of the Ingenious um, Sky Controller. So it's a pretty simple task, but um, some people may want to see what it looks like before they purchase. So I'm logged into the SkyKey controller. I want to click on the gear up here at the top. Then I want to click on this Backup Restore Easy Master. And it says Download Upload. I'll hit Backup here. And this will back up to my computer. So if I go to my Downloads folder, I have this Backup.bin. It's 20 kilobytes. And then I can go to Restore Easy Master Configuration. I can say Choose File here. I can click on Downloads, and I can choose Backup.bin and say Choose, and then I can hit Restore. And that will restore your settings to the point they were at when you did the initial backup. I would recommend taking this backup and probably putting the date on it, 12, let's see, it's 06, like so, and then uh, keeping your old backups in case you need to go back, like say two backups ago for some reason. Um, you'll have those available. So putting the date on there is pretty handy. And I like to use the year, month, day format so they stay in order. Um, if you use like month, day, year, it, it can get kind of ugly and complicated. So year, month, day is the way to go. So the SkyKey controller has a second option and that's SD card. So I've installed a micro SD card in the micro SD card slot and I click on SD card here and then I can hit backup and this will back up the config to the onboard SD card. So when you're dealing with your enterprise networks, you might have you know, 10 different techs that manage these networks. And if they downloaded that backup onto their personal computer, it's kind of worthless if someone else has to restore it. So by having it on the local SD card, you can another tech can come in here, click on this, and hit restore, and they'll be able to get to it. And you can see here it named it uh, backup dash, and it has the date and the year, month, day. Also put the time on there. So we can back up again. I'm sure it'll make another backup. So it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to back up both ways, back up on the SD card, and then also back up to a local system. And then when you get that, when you get the file on the local system, you'd move that to some central repository where everyone had access to it. Here we go, both backups on here. And then to restore these, you'd simply check the one you want and hit restore. So uh, super easy here to make backups. And I put a 16 gig card, I think, in here. So that would last forever at, at 20 kilobytes at a time. Um, you could even put an 8 gig. You could put a tiny card in. They're super cheap. So there's not a lot of reason to not put an SD card in here. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. I'll put a link in the description of my Ingenious playlist. Um, be sure to check out the previous video, and I'll be making other videos too. If you have any questions in the meantime, please place those in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.